my hair looks so weird right now. Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. I'm here today with my sister. So don't be taken aback by the title name. I am not a lesbian, but she is. Do you want to explain? I don't know. I am going to tell Lindsay some slang terms in the LGBT community. We're going to see if she can guess them. Just talk about you a little bit because, you know, they don't really know about you except for that one video we did together, but. Um, I am 16. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> so she's part of the LGBT community more than I am. So yeah, she's going to be teaching me some slang terms that I honestly probably have no idea what they mean. So hopefully you'll laugh at my guesses because <laughs> literally I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So continue watching if you want to see me get my LGBTQ uh, slang on. <laughs> I want this title to be... <laughs> I turned into a lesbian, but honestly, I feel like I should be because guys are so stupid. I just wanted to make that joke on camera. It's ah! focus! Oh my god! Uh, I think that was a sign not to make that joke on camera. Guys, maybe I should be lesbian because boys are dumb. Wait, first I just have to announce we're sweet tea ready, so now we're ready to start. A so lesbian. <laughs> um, a lesbian is someone who is a girl. Who also likes another I girl. I said lesbian, by the way. Wait, what? So lesbian. Oh, so lesbian. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is she doing? So lesbian. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a lesbian, but you don't really say the that part. It's like, so lesbian. She's <laughs> so lesbian. Uh, no. Um, it's a celebrity lesbian. Like Ellen or Hayley Kiyoko. Oh. So with a C at the beginning? Yes. That's just not proper English. Okay. Next one. Next one is gaydar. Gaydar. I know this one. Mm -hmm. So it's like your instinct to like spot gay people. It's like what I imagine is like, you know, those ship radars and it's like boop, mm. boop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The next one is a bear. A bear? A bear. <laughs> Um, maybe a gay person who is very hairy. <laughs> Bears have lots of hair. It, I mean, a little more specific. Did you just look at my phone? Mm -mm. Okay. Be a little more specific and you almost got it. Are you serious? Yeah, just be a little more specific. Tiny bit more. Big, fat, and hairy. Big, fat, and hairy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a little less offensive and you almost got it. <laughs> That's what a bear looks like. A big, hairy, gay man. You forgot the... Man. Wait, part. so an example would be like, oh, a man. Seth Rogen, but if no. he was gay. I don't know, <laughs> but if he was. Okay. Okay. Ginger queer. A gay person who's ginger. Ginger? You know, like. Gender red. queer. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you said ginger. Uh, gender queer. Would that be like fluid? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, like fluid, like you can be a guy one day and a girl the next or yeah it's, it's not cis or trans it's kind of like you know the term queer except more mm. specific with gender i never knew what that meant oh it's like queer is like you're not straight and you're not like cis so <laughs> just don't include that don't worry <laughs> it's fine femme what's Fem. struggles um a feminist no maybe like a feminist lesbian a femme is a highly female presenting lesbian you know your typical girly stereotype which hey thank you your your tip like your girly girly person lesbian dress <laughs> love dresses did you hear yeah. that that was my dog he wants to come in <laughs> okay so like i would be a femme if i was a lesbian exactly stud stud is a Oh, is it like a masculine gay man? No. Oh, is that a good guess though? That would be a good guess. Um, obviously me. Really? I'm a stud. <laughs> okay, so obviously it's a guy thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not? No. I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. A <laughs> uh, stud is a masculine presenting lesbian. Not like full mask. Oh. Not like mask for mask mask, but like, you know, semi mask. Well, mask, I don't know what that means. Masculine. <laughs> Femme, feminine. A butch. A butch. Um, it's like, when you say, she's a bitch, but it's like, a lesbian. But she like, she's a chef too? She's a butch, you know? <laughs> she's a butch. <laughs> she cut that meat, like she cut my heart. No, no. <laughs> Um, it's a the very masculine lesbian. Oh, it's all a spectrum. So you got them, you got like stud, and then you got butch. Butch is like your uh, stereotypical gay person. 
drag queen. Who's that? Drag queen. I know what those are. So basically, it's a guy who dresses up like a girl, but it's like over the top. So like, you know, we all we've all seen RuPaul's. You have not seen RuPaul's Drag Race. Don't I, even. Well, I have because I've seen it on Instagram and you showed me. Mm -hmm. I would give that half a point. Not I'm people. not keeping points here. It's purely for education, educational. Okay. It's education. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, for laughs. You know the audience. Um, your laughs are what count. Thanks to readers like you. <laughs> Remember? Oh, let's do it together. Ready? Viewers, <laughs> viewers <laughs> like you. So, anyways, a drag queen is a um a male who um performs in a costume as a woman they don't dress as women and over the top they just it is over the top because most no, women don't dress uh, like that pheromone gia gun no that's like two out of like Naomi seven Smalls billion women on this earth okay a uh, drag king mm. no this is two so it's when a woman like me dresses and performs as a man over the top no! a gold star gold star gay gold star it's when you did a super duper job for being gay maybe like like you've solidified <laughs> you've solidified you're no longer liquid no. they put you in the freezer for 30 minutes no no that's not what it meant no. i meant like you maybe you're hoeing around a little bit you know and like mm -hmm. you get a gold star <laughs> Like, good job. You're doing good on this gay thing. No. <laughs> That's not kind of this offensive. Game, this little phase. It means that you have never been with the opposite gender. Got it. Got it. Got it. Lipstick lesbian. Is this, like, maybe even more feminine than a femme? I mean, like, it's Maybe. Oh, it's the same thing? My other answer was totally dumb. I was going to say, like, <laughs> a specific, like, lip shade lesbians <laughs> wear. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> they, they have a company called Lipstick Lesbian. <laughs> uh, it means that you wear makeup you're a lesbian who wears makeup so you're a lipstick femme i'm a lipstick lesbian mm. hundred footer maybe like you know kind of like the mile club or whatever mile high club oh what about it <laughs> <laughs> what about it like the you know how high a hundred feet is <laughs> it's like a building. that's like a like the third story of like a Denver building. Like that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Uh no, it means in fact on my notes I wrote so gay. All caps. It means that you're so gay that you can spot them by a hundred feet. So like if you look at someone, you can just be like, Oh yeah, she's gay just by looking at her. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Mm -hmm. If you were at the top of a three story building <laughs> and you look down, you, can you be look like, down. Oh, yeah. oh that kid's gay. Mm -hmm. Uh you hauling. You haul. You're so gay. You can pick up any gay person you want and put them in your moving truck. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so kidnapping. <laughs> um, it's the stereotype that lesbians move in fast. It's you move in after your two dates. A lug. L U G. It's an acronym. Maybe <laughs> a slow moving lesbian, kind of like a slug, but a lug without the S. No, it's a lesbian until graduation. So. In college, you know, party time. Oh yeah, I was gay in college. I kissed a couple girls. You know, lesbian until graduation type thing. I say boo to that, but you know, live your life. Oh, mm. wait. So it's just like, like the experimenter, you know what I mean? In college, yeah. And then once they're out of college, straight back to good old heterosexuality. <laughs> good old heterosexuality. Good old, okay, a platinum star gay. Platinum star gay. Yes. Well, we have gold star gay. What was gold star again? Never slept with the opposite gender. Oh, got it. So plat when you have only slept with one person from the same gender. So in your mind, platinum is worse than <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> um platinum is when you have never even seen the opposite <laughs> gender. You just locked yourself in the closet. <laughs> no, it's when you were born C-section as a guy. You have to be a gay guy in order to be a platinum star gay. Oh! Never even, never even down there. You know? Got it. Mm. That's really interesting. Ooh, yikes. Okay, pillow queen. <clears throat> pillow queen. Someone who stuffs <laughs> their boobs <laughs> with pillow material and is also slaying at life. Gotcha. I mean, we stand a queen to stand a queen. We stand a queen. We stand a pillow queen. <laughs> oh, we don't stand a pillow queen. <laughs> well, I what mean, is you it? could. What is it's it? It's someone who only receives. <laughs> Their head's on the pillow. Okay. So we don't. We don't. I'm stand. uncomfortable. 
It's okay, Lindsay. Embrace it. Okay, next one is a beard. Um, a beard. Well, um, sometimes the males will, you know, not shave for a while and they get this odd phenomenon mm -hmm. that no girl likes and it's called a beard. It grows on their face and it hurts to kiss someone with a beard because of the stubbiness. Um, so when you see someone with this odd phenomenon on their face, you say, oh, it's a beard. It's when you uh, hide the fact that you're gay by using a straight person and being in a heterosexual relationship as your like, beard, you're a little covered for being gay. Oh, so when you're kind of like in that movie, um, Alex Strangelove. I mean, sure. When you're when you're out of the closet to yourself, but not to anybody else. In that movie, he was still figuring it out. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, so maybe like Love you Simon. You remember Glee? Oh, I haven't seen that. But he didn't have a girlfriend in that. Movie. Glee, Santana, oh, dated guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, next last one is a read. A read? Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily LGBT based, but it's a fun read. fact. When their gender sexuality is so obvious, you can just read them. You can read them like a book. No, it's it's a uh, from RuPaul's Drag Race. Queen oh, Culture. oh, oh! That's all I needed. Okay, so reading is like fundamental. It's fundamental. You don't know what that is, <laughs> Lindsay. Stop. <laughs> Okay, reading is like, uh, what's the word? Burning. <laughs> You're like burning someone, but what's the word? Oh, I thought you meant physically. <laughs> no, it's like, what? <laughs> no, 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 it's like okay. criticizing, but there's a cooler word for it. Well, first of all, read. Second of all, backhanded compliment. Roast. No, there's a better word for it. Roasting. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Oh my god. Outro. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry my camera's literally about to die. Um, so I'll see you guys next week. Please don't die. Um, uh, follow my Instagram and subscribe. Leave a like. This is my sister. Okay, bye.